Hey, welcome back guys. JC here. So I got a short little video for you. For those of you guys that don't like long drawn out explanations of why something works, I'm just going to go ahead and give you the rundown. Shout out to Cathal N for pointing this out to me. And uh, I made a video saying that on F4 boards, iBus does not work. Uh, and I said this in my Turnigy Evolution videos when I show you how to connect the uh, IA6C receiver as well as a few others. I say that the F4 boards are different from the F3 boards because the F3 boards have inverters on all three UARTs. The F4 boards only have one uh, hardware inverter, blah, 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 blah. And I was wrong. iBus does not work on... Uh, I'm just using the F4 Omnibus for this example because that's really the only F4 board I've been using so far besides the Race Flight Revolt. And that one's a bit different, so I'm not going to talk about that one. The point is this will apply to most F4 boards. I said that uh, on this pin, iBus does not work. You can use PPM and you can use SBus, but not iBus. My theory is something about this hardware inverter does not allow iBus to work because Kathleen pointed out to me that they've been using it on some other UART. I can't remember exactly which UART, but it doesn't matter because after reading that, I went back and checked and iBus does work and it works on all three UARTs. So there's the shortened video for you. You can stop watching, put uh, your signal wire on iBus on any of these three UART receive pins and it's going to work. Now uh, for those of you that are interested in uh, hearing some more, so like I said, we need a receive pin on a UART for uh, serial based receivers, which is going to be SBUS and iBus. The, if you looked in the zoom in picture where it says RX1 and RX6, those are both receives, receive pins for UART1 and UART6. We also have receive for UART3 up here. On these F4 boards, uh, where it says receive for UART number one, that pin, which is, if you look at my cursor, that's this pin. And that is the same exact pin as this pin. But if you run a continuity test between these two pins, you're not gonna see anything because this pin has the hardware inverter. And it's the only pin that has that, the only UART. Where this is the same UART, just without the inverter. But because that hardware is in between, you won't see anything on the continuity test. But it really doesn't matter. If you want to use iBus, you can place it on this pin, you can place it on this pin, or you can place it on this pin. I can confirm that all three of those pins will work. So I learned something new today, um, and that's why I love you guys. You subscribers, you guys straighten me out. Unfortunately, I'm too lazy to go back and remake that video. I hate remaking videos. I do it whenever it's something that's super important, something that could cost you money or damage something, but uh, I'm not going to go back and redo this. Instead, I'm just going to leave a link to this video on those videos. And I'm sure you guys appreciate it because you get tired of me making receiver videos. That's going to do it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.